Shortly after midnight in Kyiv, the sound of air raid sirens and explosions rocked the start of a new year. Of course, it was hard to celebrate fully because uh, with understanding that our soldiers can't be with their family. Ten months into the war in Ukraine. In his New Year's address, President Volodymyr Zelensky said, let this be the year of return, and the temporarily occupied will become forever free. Flanked by soldiers in his address, Russian President Vladimir Putin called the invasion a sacred duty, accusing the West of using Ukraine and its people to weaken and split Russia. Ukraine has received advanced military support from the U.S. and the EU, but wide-ranging sanctions have done little to stop Russia while the war weighs on the global economy. We are working on providing support for uh, Ukraine. We have assessed the needs of Ukraine to range somewhere between three and five billion dollars a month. What Putin did with destroying critical infrastructure in Ukraine, this is Horrific. Earlier Saturday, children living in Kharkiv celebrated New Year's Eve in the city's metro station. Pope Francis continuing his prayers for peace in Ukraine as the new year brings more uncertainty. I think in 2023, we're likely to see minimal Russian gains on the military battlefield, but more of Putin's spoiler campaign, where he's using missiles and drones to take out civilian infrastructure, target electricity, target water water supplies, really trying to break the will of the Ukrainian people. Gaynor Hall, WGN News.